Hello RC friends, this is Mike with Hobbywing bringing you an update to the X Rotor FPV lineup. Uh, we have the 45 amp 4 in 1 ESC and the 65 amp 4 in 1 ESC. The 45 amp is the newest in the 20 by 20 mounting ESC and then we have the 65 amp over here in the 30 by 30 mounting pattern. I have uh, two quads on the bench today, one being a 5 inch open class and the other, my personal favorite, my plus configured Street League spec build. I'll be removing the tried and true 40 amp from the open class that's been run for a little over a year now and installing the new 45 amp and then removing the tried and true 60 amp that's being used in my Street League quad. It's been used for over three years in various builds and then installing the new 65 amp. All right, let's get to it. So if we take a look at what comes in with the new 45 amp ESC, it will come with the capacitor and power leads pre-installed from the factory. We have a brand new AMAS XT60, standard flight controller to ESC plug, and then a pinout plug for different prototyping. As you can see, the 45 amp and the 40 amp are almost exactly the same with the exception of updated MCUs, these four guys right here. Um, it's the new generation 32-bit ARM F4 processor and the new 45 amp ESC now supports 128 kilohertz PWM frequency. Uh, both ESCs will install just the same as their predecessors and configure exactly the same. So still running BL Heli 32 and let's get to it. Thank you. 
there we go. In the 65 amp box, we get a ESC, pre soldered capacitor, and leads. We get a brand new XD60. A harness in this box that we are not going to be using. So, one of the big things with the 65 amp that, oh, with the 30 by 30 mounting pattern that a lot of people seem to forget is that when you look at your pinout from your flight controller to your ESC, you need to make sure that all the pins for the plug match all the pins for your plugs. Um, in this case, if we were to try to use the cable that came with it, and the flight controller will come with a bunch of these cables as well, that we'll find that this will plug in to the ESC. However, the pinout is not correct. The correct cable that you want to be using for the 30 by 30 to the Hobby Wing F7 is going to be this cable right here. So as you can see, this has a 10-pin plug on this side and an 8-pin plug on this side. And the big thing that you can take note of is that if we straighten out all these cables, you see how on the flight controller side that's smaller here, you can see that the ground and the current cable are flip-flopped. And then there's going to be one missing pin from both the... ESC side and the flight controller side. Uh, general symptoms of you using the wrong cable. There is another cable that will come like this, uh, but it will not have these two cables crossed over like that. And the symptom is, is that when you plug when you power, plug power into your ESC, you will get nothing on the flight controller. And if you plug it into beta flight, it won't read the ESC as well. So if that is something that you have, check your cable, make sure it is the correct one where on the flight controller side, you should have power, ground, power, then black for ground, and then this white current cable, it's going to skip one, and then it should be motors one, two, three, and four. And then on the flight ESC side, you have two blanks followed by power, then current which is the white cable, then ground, then you're going to skip this pin, and then it's going to be signal motors one, two, three, and four.
So if we were to look at the this three-year-old 60 amp that has been used in multiple builds and has flown probably about three, the, all three seasons of Street League at this point. A um, little dirty, but essentially the same thing. Again, the biggest update is going to be the MCUs on the bottom side of the chip on the ESC. And then uh, the only new, other new feature is going to be the 128 kilohertz uh, PWM drive frequency. All right, let's get this new one installed. Okay. 